Welcome back to the channel. Okay. So. I'm finishing up the editing on the uh, bump button and the bump box uh, install. And uh, right now, it all works. Everything works perfect. And uh, go figure, as I'm going to work this morning, which it is... Actually, I was coming home last night, which is Monday night. All hell breaks loose. The fucking wideband gauge on the Holly, so on the laptop, was going from 8590 air fuel to 30. 8590 to 30 was jumping all around. So, um, I didn't screw with it last night at all. Pull in the garage, shut it off, went in, took a shower, went to bed. Woke up this morning, drove it into work, and the same shit was happening again. I stopped, I unplugged. Yeah, let me get over here. Hold on, you guys. I unplugged the wideband oxygen sensor which is right here I unplugged that and everything stabilized um, it ran rich because obviously the, the ECM don't know what the hell is going on so it just ran rich the whole time but I do believe I have a bad O2 sensor so I ordered a new one today I should see it tomorrow so, as soon as I see that tomorrow, we'll do an install tomorrow at work. And uh, we'll take it from there. Hopefully, that is the problem. Um, we got a couple of packages in that I'm not dealing with tonight. Um, yeah, i just not in a fucking mood. So, I'm just giving you guys an update. But... Um, the bump box install. Let's show you what's going on over here. Here's the relay. There's the timer taped to the side of it. Um, I didn't use two relays. So this is going to the solid state relay, which is right there. And then the other relay was supposed to go to the two-step. But I have... This, let me dig it out. Sorry, I have the the Holly protection module, which is right there. Let me give you a shot of the part number five five four one twenty eight. That's the protection module that basically sends twelve volt reference to the ECM to let it. The two uh, let the ECM to go on in two step. If you don't have that, when you let off on a trans brake, it can throw like 18 volts or whatever, and it can smoke the ECM. You don't want that, so you put that protection module in. Um, the bump at first, when I just did that quick, fast scratch to set the timing, it wasn't enough because there's too much latency between everything that's happening and it didn't it didn't bump it didn't work so then i reprogrammed the timing and i went longer with it and um when i tried it it bumped like three feet so way too long i redid it again with just a quick again not as quick quick as a scratch but just a a touch and let off and now it bumps about two to three inches. I'm looking for my small tripod. It's got to be somewhere in this shithole. I will find that so I can get video on it. So I can show you how it bumps. Um, and then I'll edit all the video. And then I'll post that. But um, 
Yeah, I got a couple of packages in from Amazon Prime. We'll do a, uh, an unboxing. I got a couple more packages coming tomorrow. We'll do that all at once. So, just an update video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Any questions in the comments below. Have a good night, folks.